Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. F Dash here with F Dash TV. For a little bit of a hiatus, I have returned with another Honkai Impact third video. We've got a new update. There's a lot to discuss. Uh, a lot of new things are in the game. But really, when you get down to it, the most important thing, if you're going to take anything away from this video, is that you can finally, finally make this red exclamation point above base go away. Oh my god, it's been so annoying. So annoying. Anyway, let's talk about all the new stuff that we've got. We've got a bunch of new announcements. Obviously, we've got the new version update. Uh, one of the main things to take away from this is definitely log in for the rest of the week. Because you're going to get 300 crystals just for logging in. So definitely do that. That's going to be really, really cool. Of course, we've got two new Bronyas. And we'll take a look at them in a little bit. We've got Wolf's Dawn and Black Nucleus. We'll talk about them in a bit. Those are two new forms of Bronya. What else we got? Of course, we've got the dorm life with the chibi cuteness. It's it, There's too much cuteness there. We've got a whole new extra story, Dilemma Dreamland. And this is where you're going to be able to farm some of those fragments for Wolf's Dawn. So learning the names here. WD Wolf's Dawn. Uh, we've got also part four, Smash Unsheath. So we can do uh, participate in that to get uh, the divine key judgment of Shamash or Smash, whatever. We've got an exchange house. Uh, so this would be cool. So if you've got some rare stick mana that you've been uh, basically resonating or, you know, trashing so to speak <clears throat> you can get some new stuff chapter five for the story is here There's so much to hear uh, obviously this is the dreamland we'll talk about that we've got the, of course the expansion supply we've got some furniture bundles if you want to make your room even cuter you can do that of course you can try out the, the new suits for black nucleus and wolf's dawn and then i hope you have been logging in so that you can receive some furniture of course, like I said, 300 crystals. We've got some Dawn, Wolf's Dawn fragments, another 100 crystals, some Honkai blocks, another 200 crystals, some Wolf's Dawn fragments, and then a four star furniture, the big ass black cat. So that should be fun. It's going to go from August 8th through August 11th. Make sure you do this, right? That's the right time? Yeah. Um, so that's fun. Let's take a look at all the, all the new stuffs we've got, right? So if you click here in the middle, you're going to be taken to the bundles. So there's a bunch of new bundles here. Of course, we've got our um, supply card bundles. Those are always a, a nice little thing. Here's the Wolf's Dawn Soul Bundle. So for $3, you get, of course, your crystals. You get some Wolf Dawn fragments. <clears throat> Not a lot. Just five. And you get your basic skill materials times 30 and some super psychic chips. Now, Wolf's Dawn is farmable. So please don't spend money to get fragments. for. Her. If you want crystals, cool. You can go ahead and buy it. But... Don't buy just because of that. And then you got some furniture stuff. You'd like the black cat. You can get a, a five piece uh, furniture bundle there. You can also get another five piece purchaser bundle. So I, I'm not doing that either. But if you wanted to, I mean, I'm not going to stop you. And then if we go back, not to bundles, I'm sorry. If we go back to the supply, you should already be able to pull. So here's your expansion for Black Nucleus and Wolf's Dawn. Um, the one you're going to want to pull for if you're pulling, because again, Wolf's Dawn is farmable is black nucleus now word of caution um for black nucleus you're gonna have to wail pretty hard on her all right if you're gonna wail on her to get some some of her fragments you're gonna have to go all in you can't half-ass black nucleus all right you're gonna have to go all the way in so if we go to missions uh underneath event missions we've got a whole bunch of new stuff here so what do we got we got daily uh daily bonus here so if you log in you can get a dorm prezies a so open this to get 200 common coins temporary wardrobe and a carton bed so i'm going to collect that yes type a and then uh also this other thing we got the black cat's lucky crate so you can get that as well if you do the the missions for the new uh the new trial missions then you'll get a wolf's um little fragment there and then you'll also get homu's legend proof uh, one thing I can't show you because I just collected it is when you get your 150, um, when you get your 150 daily duties, you're gonna get uh, what's it called a time time structure or something like this. Um, it's supposed to also be added to these, but um, I think it's called a time structure. So make sure you do your 150 every day. I'm gonna go ahead and collect this. Go ahead and collect some Rondo frags. All right, so we've got our 
training. We got to do some training in the dorm. If you do that, you'll get some uh, some more coins, as well as another Valkyrie gift box. You'll also get these uh, Legos here, which are called Black Cat Stamps, right? This can be used to trade in for Cat in the Box set furnitures. Uh, you probably have already some of these home materials, just from doing uh, Armada stuff. And then if you complete the, the From Dusk Till Dawn trial event five times, as you can see I've done it four, you can do it um, four times here. Actually, you can do it a little more. You will get the X01 Azure Eye, right? It's a powerful cannon designed uh, by these people. It's named after the legendary cobra that swallowed the world, signifying the global snake's desire to achieve world domination. It's always good to have one of those guns, you know, in your in your inventory. And then, of course, we've got the Dream Dilemma Dreamland. If you do uh, this stuff, you'll also get the new emblem, the Sleeping Silver Wolf emblem, which is pretty cool. And then you can also get the Nightmare Talent Emblem for Dark Nucleus. Alright. There's seriously a lot. I barely know where to start, right? So if we click this. Alright, so we've got the Dorm Life Expansion. Hopefully you completed this last time. Um, I don't know why this says you have to be level 20 to unlock, right? So I'm guessing this is like even more future content that they just haven't unlocked yet. But uh, it's not it's not locked. We got the Matrix Space and the Speedrun Challenge. We'll see what that's about in the future. So of course we've got the Dreamland Dilemma. Uh, Dilemma Dreamland, excuse me. So once you do these storylines, you can collect all your, your points here. As you go on collecting points more and more, once you get to 200, you can get uh, more Wolf Dawn Souls. Uh, once you get to 400 points, you get 300 crystals. And then once you uh, f get to 600, you get 15 homey treasures. And then, of course, at the very end, you get some imaginary cores. <clears throat> you can use those to get some weapons. So we've got, the, of course, extra story. We've got the Season Event Smash Unsheathed. So you do that. We've got the infinite abyss. We've got wrath now. So we're gonna. It looks like we're gonna have another infinite abyss. So it looks like I gotta start doing that. And then we got the open world challenge. I've gotta start playing open world again. I stopped playing because it, it was so damn boring. Um, we gotta use Brona to complete some tasks here. So remember to do that. Come in here, collect your stuff, get your points, and get your crystals. All right. Ah, uh, where did we want to go? There's so much to do. Let's, okay, how about this? Let's take a look at the two new ladies, right? Let's go to the trial event so we can take a look. That's not there. Go to the event here. Scroll a bit. All right, from dusk till dawn. The first one you can do, I don't have any more entries. Damn, I can't even show you the, the women. That sucks. All right, well, let me show you uh, some gameplay here of Black Nucleus, right? So essentially, uh, like I said before, Black Nucleus is the pay to, pay to, not pay to win, but sort of the pay to play character, right? So you need her, um, in order, I'm sorry, in order to use her effectively, right? She gets super, super strong the more you, you enhance her, right? So she's an S base. Um, of course, she goes SS and then triple S. The higher you have her, the more damage she can do, right? Potentially, potentially, she can one shot two shot, maybe even three shot, <clears throat> uh, some bosses here. And, you know, she can do a tremendous amount of damage. There's a little RNG involved in it, but you know, she does a crap ton of damage, right? And it mainly comes from getting her from S to SS to SSS. So that's why I said, if you're gonna wail on her, you're gonna have to wail pretty hard because um, you want her as high as humanly possible. You, you really do want her to SSS. Um, the other thing to keep in note is that a lot of people say that she gets essentially outclassed later on by another character. So, because there's another character coming down that will do the same thing, like super strong as her as well, does the same thing and does it better. So, I'm not sure if you want to wail too hard on Black Nucleus. I'm definitely not going to. So, be careful with that, right? Because <clears throat> you don't want to put too much into her and then she just gets outclassed later and you never use her. Her ultimate is freaking awesome. Though. Look at that thing. I think it's badass. But uh, yeah, so keep do keep that in mind. The other one uh, to, that we're going to talk about here is uh, the farmable one, and this is Wolf's Dawn, right? And Wolf's Dawn is the awakened form of Yamabuki. Um, and I'm sorry if I didn't say that before, but the, the, the Black Nucleus is the awakened form of Snowy Sniper. So hopefully you have those characters, right? Um, just makes leveling up a little bit easier. But, uh, actually, yeah, I can probably just go to the character here. Let's go to Valkyrie. Alright, so Snowy. Oh, yeah, my book, yeah. So this is... This is, um... Jesus, Wolfstone, sorry. I'm so lost here. 
Uh, so Wolf's Dawn is completely support, right? So she's kind of just like Yamabuki in the sense that they have an amazing shield, right? I can't show you her abilities. I'm sorry for doing that level. But her shield does uh, gives you an elemental, elemental damage shield, right? Which is really, really cool. So you definitely want her uh, to use her when you're going to go up against people that do elemental damage. So you can get a nice barrier from that. Uh, you and it, really you want this lady at SS right because she's gonna do she's gonna go to work at SS She's gonna be really really good. She like I said though. She's she's not really there to do damage, right? She's really there to support your characters and uh, So to make sure that you can do a ton of damage with other characters But again, she's farmable so you should get her to SS really with with no real effort So make sure you do that and then the other one we're snowy here snowy and then this is black nucleus so hopefully, if you like Bronya, this is a good time for you because you can do a lot of stuff with Bronya. Is that it? Can we talk about cuteness now? Can we? All right, let's go to the base so I can finally make this damn thing disappear. All right, let's go ahead and download that. Whatever, it's okay. Now, um, something to note here that I didn't realize. All right, so I, I I would honestly rather play as Chibis than these uh, these other things here. Right, so this is it. So we can go in here. Uh, it's a bit dull right now, so let's go ahead and edit. We can go to renovation. Click this little thing. Claim it. I don't know what this is. I claimed something. Sample floor. All right, much cozier. Save. Thinks we need a little bit more than this. It's time for my collection. Let's go ahead and edit again. Claim. So they're just giving you stuff furniture all right so this is what you do here we edit the furniture click ok press the cancel to return it rotate it if you want to after everything is set save and exit all right tap and drag all right Ooh, crap all right i'm gonna put the bookshelf over here can we turn it oh don't want to do that yeah, let's make it so you can't even get a book you must have found out with more furniture comes higher comfort level. Yes. All right, so we get more comfort level. The more furniture we have. Let's save the comfort level explanation for later. All right, I guess. Do I have nothing else to give these holes? No, I don't. No, I don't. All right, save and exit. Tap in the Valkyries to add to them. Hello. Hold. Tap and hold the Valkyries to drag them. Try moving them to different furniture. Okay. You. Wait, what's happening? No, you. All right, go to bed. Oh my God, you. No, go to couch. Sweet. Alrighty. Go to the menu here. Directory. All right. So this is this is the screen I was trying to get to, right? All right. So these are all the Valkyries here. You have to do missions for these people though to get them into. So that's why you may only have one or two Valkyries in there. You got to do missions for them. So if we go to white comment here, she's got you see she trusts me, which is probably a terrible idea. So her move in missions, I've done obviously a bunch of them because you know you've been playing forever, so you probably have two. The ones you're gonna have to do though are all the way at the bottom. Obviously reach SS or SSS if you haven't already done it. Get to level 60. Um, affection point reach level four. Kill some zombies. Uh, these two here at the, at the bottom. So you gotta collect seven Kiana snack boxes in the dorm and turn them in. And then collect three tasty desserts in the dorm and turn them in as well. So if you want more Valkyries in your dorms, make sure you do all of their stuff. She doesn't trust me apparently, right? Uh, she wants to know more about you. This is so weird. Uh, but yeah, so go ahead. Oh wow, I barely have any. Oh, this is uh, Rondo, that's why. Yeah, so you got a bunch of missions for your, your little Valkyries here. Make sure you do that so you can get them to move in. Your power, you've got dorm power as well. I mean, this probably needs its own. Oh, wow, you can, you can do this for Stigmata as well? Holy crap, I did not know that. Whoa. All right, so that's going to that's gonna require a little, I can claim some stuff. It's going to require a little more investigation on my part in terms of how exactly to use this. But the main point, hopefully, it did not go away. Damn it, that's what I want. All right, there's a bunch more stuff I have to do in there. 
all of these little red things. All right, so I'll do that later. The other thing I want to show you, I know this video is getting a little long. We're already at 15 minutes here, is the shops. We've got a bunch of different shops now. So many shops. All right, that's the same. Uh, in the exchange shop, right, we've added a couple more stigs, right? A couple more stig mods. We've got the wrath. My wrath, right? It's for middle, so it's not not necessarily a great stigma, but uh, if you want, if you're a collector, you got those. As you can see, this does not refresh, right? So if you ever wanted to buy another Attila set, you're screwed, right? So these are essentially one-time use only. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy these two just because I didn't have them already, and I've got a bunch of these anyway. So complete my collection make my tear even better our memory shops the same i believe yeah there's nothing here event shop oh god let's never talk about bikinis ever again this shop's the same as well secret shop blah 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 all right here we go the co-op shop has been updated there's a whole bunch of stuff you can get here now you can get one of these every month i mean it's better than nothing i suppose then you got all these other things this is a gru jade uh, very rare jade obtainable from Black Ops Raid. That sounds pretty cool. I guess I'm, all of these are from the raid. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff that you can buy, uh, which is kind of nice. And then these are those time structures I was talking about. So you can earn those daily now. As you can see, I have three. And then we also got this. This is a time seal box used to get a small amount of time structures, united tokens, or character super chips, right? So I was going to go ahead and what, what do these cost? These cost one of these. Oh, so I can't buy this. All right, never mind. So this is the exchange house where you can use your um, your stigmata resonator to trade in for different stigs. I think these change. I don't know, uh, but they are all six thousand. I don't have six thousand, so. Ooh, so these are all the stigmatas you can eventually change for. There's a whole bunch of rules that you can read those at your leisure. Dormitory store, so you can buy. Uh, common coins with your coins if you'd like to do that you can also buy black cat stamps with ranger reputation you can buy all the other crap as well we've got this uh delicate dessert you can buy for 75 crystals please don't do that please uh and then i chan signature no that's the same oh yes i'm actually gonna buy this uh for myself just in case you weren't aware of this right pro tip uh you can salvage this for a honkai crystal so no, I don't want to lock it. So, FYI, save 400, 400 um, of these weapon recurrencies. So you can buy that and get your home guy crystal. Uh, there's probably a whole bunch else that I didn't get to, but essentially the big takeaway is you can finally make this uh, red exclamation point go away uh, by going here and doing all these different tasks. For your little chibis, oh my god, the chibis, all right? Let me know what you guys think about the dorm. Let me know what you think about Black Nucleus about wolf's dawn are you gonna wail hard on uh, black nucleus let me know hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys next time on f tv take it easy